for our elephant, we have three balloons. We have a white 160 inflated with about a five inch tail. We have a gray 260 with about a four inch tail and a second gray 260 with about a six to seven inch tail. We'll start with our longer gray with about the four inch tail. What you want to do, figure out about a four and a half inch bubble and we're going to just fold it over into a loop twist, grab the knot and twist that around so that you've got a large loop twist like that. And now we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble, a little half inch bubble, which we'll now make into an ear twist, and then another bubble the same size as that one, about another inch and a half bubble, and twist that around that fold at the bottom. So we're going to have our fold with our two bubbles and our ear twist on top. Now take and squeeze the air out almost to the end. We have just a little nipple left there. Grab that nipple and you're going to run it around the base of that. Have it fold this a couple of times. So now we have this large loop. You want to find the middle of your loop here. Twist that so you have two large bubbles. And then bring that twist back down to your ear twist here on top. And then run the ear twist around it once or twice to secure it. These will be our elephant's ears. Then I'll take and sort of shape them out like that. So that we've got that for our basic head. Now we're going to take our other 260. Start the nozzle in, make a small half inch bubble, grab the knot, spin the bubble so that you make a little air twist, make another half inch bubble, and then make that an air twist as well. These would be the two lips, as it were, or fingers, on the end of our elephant's trunk. Now I'll figure out about a six inch bubble. This will be our trunk. I'll poke it through one of the ears, bring it to the center, and then wrap the remaining bubble around completely till it comes back out the back. This will be our elephant's trunk. Okay. Now we'll go to what's left sticking out the back, make a little small one inch bubble, followed by a half inch bubble, which we'll make into an ear trip. Now we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble, followed by another inch and a half bubble for our front legs, just around that ear twist. About an inch and a half to two inch bubble for the body, followed by two more legs, roughly the same size as our front legs. And then another half inch bubble, which we'll make into an ear twist. And what's left is our elephant's tail. So there's the main body. If you like, you can stop there. But I think this next touch makes it even cuter. So we're going to take our white 160, kind of soften it. Sometimes I'll take, fold it in the middle and squeeze it up so it gets even softer. Make sure it's good and soft. Now you're going to take and make about an 8 inch bubble. I'll poke that through one of the ears and then bring this remaining part around back up to the front and we're going to run it up along these bubbles here till it about where it meets up with that ear twist. Twist it and then twist it around that ear twist so that it comes back out to the front. Then I'll cross these over under that ear twist to lock them in better. And we're going to go back down again the other side so we get a bubble about the same size as that other white eyeball. These are going to be our eyes. Twist it and then go around that loop twist on the bottom again. Come up to the other side of the trunk. And obviously we have plenty left over. Now measure out so that your two tusks are about the same. Take this excess off. Tie it off really good. Let's trim it up a little bit. Straighten our elephant up. And then for our two tusks, I'll take and 
sort of roll them up back like that. Give it a little squeeze. Do the same for our other tusks. So we've got our two tusks, our mouth and our trunk. Got our ears all straight. And it's always best to do that shaping before you put the Sharpie or you'll smudge your Sharpie. And there's our little elephant. <laughs>